Hey, I'm Jimmy. And I'm Hugo. We're Flight Facilities. And you're watching Speaker TV. The inspiration for the uh, Flight Facilities logo was actually, I think it was done by a university student about 20 or 30 years ago. And um, my grandfather looked for a guy to do a logo with an actual like designer and then no one did anything good. So he found a university student to do it and paid for his tuition to do the logo. And so it's been the same logo for about 30 30 years now, I think. So I just kind of took it from him. <laughs> uh, it was actually the initial footage at the beginning is from the very first episode of Soul Train because it was the only one that you could get Don Cornelius talking without any other music over the top, but there was a little bit, so we kind of mixed it from that into I Didn't Believe. And then all the dancing in between is from like two or three different ones, and we just try and kind of braid it at the same way. And then at the very end, it goes back to the first episode. There's about four episodes in it. And also the cartoons from two different decades, decades <laughs> as well. Well, I really, I tried to make that concise, I'm sorry. That was quick and concise. The best one was that we were baggage handlers. No, we didn't even make that one up. Someone Apparently we got the name because we were baggage handlers at Sydney Airport. Yeah. Not true, but cool. It's interesting, someone made that up for us. Pink Floyd, was it Pink Floyd? Oh, I yeah, used to go the, the and brown their, their rider was take all the brown M&Ms out of the M&M packet. And one time they didn't, and they saw the brown M&Ms and they were like, we're off. And everyone was like, that's a bit nuts. And then the stage collapsed. No, so I think someone got electrocuted. Something like that. like the Batman and then oh, like... Oh shit, you've done your homework. I love it. Uh, flight facilities lingo would be just us being nerds in the studio. Like we, we name things interesting names. Like uh, one a reverse symbol is called a Batman, I think. No, it's Nazirismo. It's like Nazirismo is like a reverse symbol. Yeah, and the, what's a Batman? A Batman's like a, a weird kind of Batman sound effect that goes, it just and sounds then there's like... A, it sounds like the, the thing that it does and there's a... <laughs> One of them too, <laughs> and that's you can guess what that is. I mean, there's a lot of that in dance oh, yeah, music. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have those. Let me give you a scenario. One time we got in the car in Italy, and the guy was like, he was playing music and then I kind of noticed and he turned up and he goes, I love this song and it was dubstep. And I was kind of like, yeah, right. And This is before we'd really heard what dubstep was. Or yeah. before it, so credit to him for being on the ball with he that one. He was on the ball. He was on the cusp of dubstep. This is not the right and, ball to be on. But we kind of differ from dubstep a little, even though there's a, a remix or two out there, but uh, we definitely differ from dubstep. Facilities. Oh, who's that from? <laughs> That's from. <yeah. laughs> have the vocals been a great investment? Yes, yes, they have. You can send that back across the sea. <laughs> and thank you very much. <laughs>